Hey everyone! So this weekend I was jelly plating with a friend of mine and I wanted to come on and just show you some of the envelopes and the papers that I jelly plated. So I guess I'll start with the smaller envelopes. Um, these envelopes are a little bit bigger than A2 size. They are called invitation envelopes and I got them at Walmart a while back. This particular print right here, I'm just going to go slow on this one because it's just my favorite one. I love the colors. I love the design. I just thought it was absolutely awesome. So, and I always, you know, try to do more than, than one envelope. I use my envelopes a lot for um, swaps. So, um, I like to have a lot on hand. And I try to do the front of it and the back of it in the same colors. It does not have to be the same um, stencils, but I do like to have it be the same colors. So those are the smaller ones. And with the envelopes, I just do one pass on the envelopes. Um, so let me just show you these envelopes and then I'll go ahead and explain what I mean by the one pass um, when we get to the papers. So here's another set, um, just really pretty. And the stencils that I use are from Tammy, who is Housewares on Etsy, and I'll leave the name of her Etsy shop below. And I just, I love her stencils. Um, I use them, I mean, they're all, the stencils that you see here are Tammy's. They're the only ones that I use when I when I jelly plate. Oh, except for this one. This one right here was, was a friend of mine, this top one right here. But otherwise, everything else is from Tammy's Etsy shop. And again, you know, I try to do a few of each. So, you know, in the front and the backs, I would like to do both. So even though it's one pass, what I do is I'll go ahead and do you know, one side, let it dry, then I come back and I do the opposite side. So that's why sometimes it's a little bit different. Even though I'm using the same colors, I might not have put exactly the same amount of the particular colors back on the jelly plate. So here's some of the papers, and this one is actually, these two um, are actually from their newspapers. And I wanted to give it a try. I thought it would be a great foundation for jelly plating, and it is. And I'm really glad that I gave this a try. And what I mean by, like, one pass is, you know, when you jelly plate, you first, you know, put down your colors and you, you use your stencil, your stamps, or whatever you use to jelly plate that paper. Then you let it dry. And some people do one pass, and it looks beautiful. But I like to go back and do at least two passes, if not three, on any given page. So, um, you know, this one was, you know, two, if not three passes. I mean, look at all that yumminess on there. And this particular piece of paper is from work. And, you know, like, I don't know if you know, but like at, at work when you print something out, there's a cover sheet so everybody knows, you know, what print is for what person, and I save those and I jelly plate on them. So these are deli paper. Look at that yumminess. Oh my gosh, let me go this way. So lots of yumminess. I did try doing some stamps and you know, a little bit of just like X's and stuff, but that's not my go-to. My go-to is definitely using stencils. Um, I have, oh, I don't know, several, and I, um, uh, there's just several that I have that I always like to use when I stencil, and I just, you know, I know which ones they are, and I grab them, and that's what I do. Um, so I know a lot of people use stamps and, you know, make designs in the paint and whatever, but for some reason, it's just not me. Like this, this is all stencil, right? It's two different stencils. Um, both of them. Oh, you know what, too? This circular one in the background, that's a Diane Reevely. The top one is from Tammy. So, like, to me, this is the look I want to get right here. 
this is it. I love it. You can see all the different colors. You can see the patterns of the stencil. Just love it. Love, love, love. And then here's another one. So, you know, you try to do different colors because, like, I'll use this, um, like, on some of my mixed media pages or um, I'll share some in swaps. You know, not everybody has a jelly plate and you know, some people really enjoy getting, um, you know, the different prints that different people make. So anyway, so I just wanted to come on and share this with all of you. I had so much fun doing this, as I always do. And, you know, let me know if you have any questions about jelly plating. Um, and again, I'll leave Tammy's information below. Like, if you like these stencils go check out her shop. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, you have a wonderful week, and I'll be back.